All right, so I'm making this video just in case anyone was wondering. Uh, I wanted to prove that yes, I do, uh, I guess, bodybuilding type lifts. And like, I guess people call curling lifting. It's not a lift. I don't think so. Like a lift is when you go heavy, in my opinion, and you focus on the compound movement. So basically, um, I've come to the point where I just refrain from doing curls in general. I refrain from doing extensive hypertrophy training, which hypertrophy means that you're pushing um, large volumes of blood through your muscles, which over time allow your muscles to expand, like the cells in your muscles expand and everything in order to hold more fluid. And so anyway, I wanted to, if anyone is like looking to do that kind of stuff, like to train for um, bigger biceps, bigger muscle parts, understand this it's all about range of motion not full range of motion it's actually partial partial range of motion that will do the trick for example with the bicep curls i learned that if you cut out the top 50 percent because you can curl your wrists all the way up to your shoulders right but if you if you like you can do a test as well but basically um your biceps only activate from the the like the first so take out the tur the first 10 percent of the range of motion and then take out the top 50 percent that 40 percent let's say i don't know how many degrees of motion that is but anyway that's your that's your sweet spot that's where your bicep is contracting and so uh, people will always talk about range of motion don't do partial reps or things like that but it's actually i found that in hypertrophy training partial reps are actually what gets the most blood flow because once the muscle stops engaging um is when you get you get like less strain i guess they call it time under tension less time under tension and um, anyway, so trust me when I say this and you can, you can test it out yourself, but if you hold your arm out, um, and you, you squeeze your bicep as hard as possible, you'll realize that your, your arm only gets to a 90 degree angle. If you don't, um, like if you don't force your arm to go the, the full range of motion, because your bicep can only get your arm to a 90 degree angle and your shoulder is actually responsible for doing the rest of the contraction, the, the strain. Have you ever done bicep curls and you start feeling um a burn on the front delts that's like exactly what happens and so even here i'm kind of doing a little bit too big of a range of motion but um i just wanted to kind of visually demonstrate and i used to i used to pump out all sorts of like uh bicep curls i used to go to the gym for like like at least an hour because there's so many ways you can um you can induce this hypertrophy and my arms actually got, kind of got huge and I started getting bigger. But then after I thought about it for a while, it kind of scared me, realizing that hypertrophy kind of turns your balloons, or sorry, <laughs> turns your muscles into water balloons. And even today, like when I, I was repping out these curls for, for the video, um, I was scared of going, and like once you start to feel the burn, it's typically in bodybuilding, that's when you keep going, you keep pushing. Um, now I, I understand that it's actually like, it's better to not, it's better to, to even avoid that completely. So that's what I did. I only, I curled like maybe 15 or 20 reps before I stopped for each set. And that's another tip. If anyone wants to learn how to do this better is, um, lightweight for high volume, even like, like literally 50 and 60 reps at a, at a light weight will do a lot more for you than, uh, than a heavy weight for 10 to 12 reps. So that's another tip. Anyway, so I couldn't actually get into the gym to squat today. Today was a, it's kind of a busy day. I had work today, and then I'm also working on a project that is going to be announced shortly. I don't know when, but basically I'm compiling all of my best ideas into these documents that are going to be in a Google folder, and I'm going to have that link posted in my social media accounts. And so I'm taking a lot of time to be articulate and to express myself in the best way possible. And so it's kind of taking up my time these days. Hopefully I can get into the gym to squat tomorrow. And so I was thinking to myself, like, I have to at least get into the gym. Like, walking into the gym is a must. Like, I literally need to check that off my list of things to do today. And so I decided to come in here and record this video of me curling. So here we go again. Let's watch the form. You see how, like, I, I go up to a 90-degree angle and then don't e I don't even lock out on the bottom. And doing this is how you ensure that your bicep stays contracted the whole time. So, yeah. Um, I wouldn't recommend bodybuilding to anyone, really. I think it's a, it, it, to, to thrive, I guess, to succeed and uh, to get that dream physique you want. You have to go into like some kind of a psychotic level of like of of motivation, if that makes sense. 
Like, you have to actually enjoy pain to some extent. And I found that with strength training, all it takes is just consistency. And you don't even have to do anything crazy. It's just, like, doing the right um, range of motion, the right number of reps, the right weight. And you do it for, like, a decent um, amount of volume, but nothing crazy. And you do that every day, and you're going to get stronger. So, anyway, that's it for me today. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. But, yeah, that's it for me. See you guys later.